Your Royal Highness, Your Excellency, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, friends and guests, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to this very special evening in this, the 48th year of the prize. Your Royal Highness, your support for literature and literacy and your obvious love of a good read makes you the perfect guest. Once again, I'm delighted and honoured to be asked to this most exciting of literary evenings. And of course, there'd be no prize without the tireless commitment of the panel of judges, who have spent the last 10 months reading and discussing this year's kaleidoscope of titles. We at MAN are very proud to have played a part in bringing to the global audience works that are similar only in their brilliance. It's now my pleasure to introduce you to the shortlisted novels in alphabetical order. First, Paul Beatty, The Sellout. Deborah Levy, Hot Milk. Next, Graham McRae Burnett, His Bloody Project. David Zaloy, All That Man Is. Otessa Moshfeg and her book, Eileen. And finally, Madeleine Tien, do not say we have nothing. Please join me now in celebration. The winner of the 2016 Man Booker Prize for Fiction is The Sellout by Paul Beatty. Yeah, I, just, I wasn't expecting this, I have to say. I don't want to like get all dramatic, writing saved my life or anything like that, but um, writing's given me a life. When I heard that book out loud, it was the first time I read it out loud or really read it, you know? And I was like, oh my goodness, it matches exactly the language in my head. I think you can write what you want, but people get to say what they want back to you. And that's not censorship. And I think that's important. And I think it's also important to, to note that cultural appropriation goes every direction. <laughs>